ജീവാനിനാ Bubs Aussie Gourmet Pies just celebrated their one year anniversary in February of this year, 2021. They are one of very few Australian food restaurants you can find here in the Twin Cities. So this place also have a drive through option too. We're just gonna drive around to show you guys how it looks like. So here. This is their place and then the menu is right here. Nice. And then as you drive up here to the left here, you can pick up your food at the window on the left side over here. I was here last week and wanted to share this amazing place with you all. Let's go in and check out their pies. Bub's got a great selection of different meat pies and sausages to choose from. Their popular items from the menu are the hand cut fries, pippin, classic sausage roll, and more. I kind of went all out and got a ton of different meat pies. I got five meat pies, one classic sausage roll, one breaky pie, and one Virgil's black cherry drink. Mm. Yum, you can see all the beef. It's super stuffed. There's a lot of meat in there. It's really good. You can taste like the sweetness of the caramelized onion. It's really good and juicy. This one, I think, with the cup trip. My boyfriend told me <laughs> meat pies are much better with ketchup. <laughs> so I'm pouring some ketchup, or you can call it tomato sauce. Joe is not messy because it's in a pie, mm -hmm. so it's super easy to eat. More ketchup, more tomato. 
tomato sauce to the sloppy joe. Oh yeah. This one is the Jason meat pie. It consists of chunky beef and garden veggies. They're super generous with the meat. It's super stuffed. You can see all the veggies in here. I think this one tastes more like beef stew. It's really good. This one's definitely more Americanized. <laughs> It tastes more, it's very similar to the chicken pot pie. It kind of have like that stewy taste to it. It's good though, especially with ketchup. You can smell the seasoning. That's curry. It smells good. You want to sniff it? Yeah, you can see the color. This one here is the Pippin with spicy chicken curry with peas. This one here is a classic pork sausage roll. It is about the size of my hand. It's pretty big. This one is the spicy chicken curry. Ooh, you can see all the curry oozing out. Look at all of that. Mm, smells really good. Look at all that gravy. Oh yeah, that's really good. Very authentic curry. So my spice tolerance is pretty high, and so this ch spicy chicken curry pie is not spicy for me. But I think for somebody with a lower tolerance, this would be like very spicy for them. I think it's good without ketchup or any of the sauce because it's so... There's a lot of like gravy in here. It's super delicious by itself already. Is this like a hot pocket? But it's filled with pork. I got the amazing chance to meet the president of Ozzy Gourmet Pies. Jason is the main chef here. His chef assistants and a few other individuals make all of the pies from scratch every Monday. The most important part is the meat and gravy that goes inside the pies. They can make about 2,500 pies a day. Jason is going to take us to the back where the kitchen is and he is going to show us the machine they use to make their pies. Over there. Uh -huh. There's tins for the different sizes. They go on here, and then the pastry goes on here. Put it on bottom. 
because we make two different types of pastry, one on the bottom is different from the top. Mm -hmm. And then here it goes through a press, and it presses the pastry in. And then here it's putting a filling. Okay. If we have a lot of filling, we use this. If not, we put it by hand. Okay. Like a scoop of it? Yeah. And then here it puts a little water on it. And then this is the top pastry. Okay. And then pushes it down. Okay. Cuts it out. Oh. And then in these bins, the leftover dough falls down. And then you can be like. And then the last one is, uh, um, is, this is the uh, like glazing machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's this? That's really a glazing machine. Um, and then we put them on the racks, we rest them mm -hmm. okay. in the fridge nice. for like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. and then we pack all our pies, we freeze them really quickly in a glass, this glass chiller, it's very mm -hmm. special glass chiller. Mm -hmm. You freeze the pies really quick. Oh wow. So they yeah. stay very good. Yeah. Keep the dough and the yeah. pastry. So it freezes, yeah. we freeze the whole pie, 600 pies in like 45 per hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whole thing. Like very, to like negative 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. 30. Like deep freeze. freeze. Yeah. Deep freeze. And then we pack them, bag them, tag them. And then um, put them in the freezer or mm -hmm. keep them out. Yeah. And once we sell our farm, we keep them out. Okay. Because okay. you can keep you can keep the pies out of the in the fridge for like a week. Yeah. Okay. I only knew of American chicken pot pies until now. Pot pies are very similar to meat pies, but man, meat pies are taking it to another whole different level. This place has changed my whole perspective on how I feel with pot and meat pies. Where has this been all of my life? Do you want to know?